today, we end things not with a bang, but with chill. Ah, ooh, ah, relax, ah, lean back. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Put your feet up. I have a footrest on my chair. Put your feet up. Oh, oh, take a load off. Oh, it's great. Have a nice drink. Oh, this is this is the life, man. Mm. Oh man, so many, so many content creators out there. They gotta overhype what they're doing. They gotta, oh, it's so exciting. You gotta be there. It's gonna be so amazing, mind changing, mouth dro drooling, explosions, missiles firing, big mushroom clouds erupting. Today, we're just going to chill. <sighs> oh my god. Only Kawaii Coffee asks, are we going to order food that day? Interesting that you asked that. So here's the thing. We already have another special event scheduled for the next week. That's the big React event. All right? I haven't done a React event in a while. Since the React event is the week after, that's going to be the one where we maybe order like a big meal for Feasting with the King. What I would like to do for that Saturday for the closet clean out is do something way downscaled. Maybe I'll just look around and say, hey, is there any new fast food items around or anything? And I might either just drive right here and grab them. Like, for example, I've got a Taco Bell, Dairy Queen, Wendy's, McDonald's, KFC, all within like maybe a block and a half, two blocks of my house. So if any of those places has something new that you guys would like to see me try out for like a DSP tries it, then we would do that, okay? But I'm not going to go crazy spending ridiculous amounts of money. Like for example, that Indian food that I ordered was amazing, blew me away, but it was pricey. You know, it was my wife and I both ordering meals. I'm like, damn, that was a lot of money. So we can't do that all the time. We gotta do something a lot cheaper, I feel like. Just maybe driving to one of these places quick during a break, grabbing some food, coming back, um, and trying out some of the food there. That's what we would do, okay? So let's think about that in the next week and a half. Are there any fast food places, like the ones I described are the ones right here? Anything at those places you guys would like to see me try out or whatever? I don't know, I actually don't know what they have. I haven't been to these places in quite some time. And this guy's a pathological liar. That's coming up on August 20th, and I feel then would be the time if we're going to order our food for, like, Feasting with the King, that would be that. Now, I do have to say something, okay, guys? Here's the deal. I don't have money. I, guys, I have no money. Things right now, for me, are really, really financially tight, all right? Now, I'm not, I don't want to hear a single fucking word from scumbag idiots who make shit about, about me on a regular basis saying... Phil blows all his money on this or that and mobile games and this. It's bullshit, okay? It's fucking bullshit. It always was. It always has been. It always will be bullshit. That bullshit zone, okay? This month, things are tight for me. That means with these special events, I don't have unlimited budget to be blowing money on food and stuff. That's what I mean. Like, actually, when I bought that Indian food for the closet clean out this last Saturday, I was like, oh, shit. You know, I probably shouldn't have spent that much. That was a lot of money that I just dropped on that. And, you know, I, I'm... Trying my best to make ends meet and afford everything. I'm actually really nervous because in about a week's time, I got those two big bills every month, my internet bill and my, my condo dues. And I don't even know if I'm going to have enough between now and then. Like I have, I have, you know, tomorrow's my day off. I got to spend money then on, on things that we're doing. Um, you know, things for around the house, grocery shopping, etc. All right. Then I basically have a week to raise enough funds, not only for those bills, but then my next day off in about a week's time. And then after that, we got events coming up, right? Then we've got the closet clean-out event. Then we've got this, this marathon coming up. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I basically have to see what I can afford, all right? And so what I'm, what, what I'm basically trying to tell you this is... Give me all your money. You know, coming up with these events, I might not be able to go crazy with the food and stuff, all right? I want you to understand that, um, especially because now I'm doing multiple events. It's not like, oh, Phil's doing one a month. I'm doing a closet clean-out, <clears throat> then I'm doing the This Is How You Don't Play React. Then the Ninja Turtles collection comes out later in the month. And for that first weekend of September, I was planning on doing like a pizza party celebration. That's all you know, money, money, money spent every week. You see what I'm saying? So if 
you guys can support in any way, please do. And thank you for that. But please understand that it's not like I'm, not, I'm really right now and so tight. Everything is so tight. Um, I got to basically kind of be cutting back. So if I take a look at these events and I'm like, shit, I just can't go crazy. I can't order as much as I usually would. We got to cut back. Then we got to cut back. All right. This is, this is how it is, you know. And uh, again, I apologize. I like doing as much as I can for you guys. And, and going all out on these events is fun. But I can only do what I can afford, right? So, you know, that's life right now. Things will likely get better. You know, they will. Things are going to get pick up. There's going to be new games, new releases, more hype around here about the stuff. Right now, it's kind of a dead summer. We all know that, all right? Things are going to get better. Inflation's eventually going to end, too. I was actually just speaking with my wife this morning about everything, and I'm like, you know... We haven't gone to Costco. Oh, I'm all for it. Cuck life, 100%. Live the life of the cuck. Why not, right? It's kind of everything I'm doing here is trying to save money, you know, stretch out, cut corners. I'm doing my best. You know, in this year, I've, I've cut down on everything. I've cut down on uh, all any subscription services that we have here. Everything has, has been cut back, scaled back um, as much as possible. And, you know, thank you to those who are still supporting the streams. Thank you to those who are helping out. But I just want you to understand that, like, I love going all out. But this month alone, we have two big events coming up, a third at the beginning of September. That's a lot of money to be spent on, like, big food meals and shit, feasting with the king and stuff. So we'll see what happens with that, all right? Okay. So that's the point I'm making. Again, guys, if you can support the streams, obviously, please do. But you know, I'm not asking for anything above and beyond. I'm not asking for anyone to go crazy here. I'm just saying if we can get consistent support on the streams, that would help alleviate. Like, right now, I'm, I'm literally sitting here nervous. Because in one week, I've got the two giant bills that have to clear. And then I have to have enough money for a day out to, to do errands and stuff. And I don't know in a week if I'm going to have enough for it. I, you know, I'm just being honest. And I'm like, what doesn't get paid now? You know? Sucks. And it's, what really sucks is that's my reality. That's been my reality for a while. But then you've got these complete, complete scumbag shitheads out there making these insane negative bullshit videos about me that aren't true. You know, no factual substantiation for anything they say. It's, oh, circumstantial this, bullshit that. Any evidence of anything. And then people believe it. People believe it in droves, you know? And it, 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 it just makes things worse. Like, I'm not already fucking stressed out about everything going on. Now I got to put up with that shit on the outside. And I, don't, I try to just ignore it. I try to just tune it out. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to know about it. I know it's out there. I know these idiots. There it is. There's one of them right now. Here it is. <laughs> I mean, literally, the moment I say it, one of them appears in the chat as if on command. Here he is. There's a piece of dog shit. A, a living piece of dog shit has emerged in the chat of DSP Gaming. Like, you can smell them through the fucking internet. Okay? Like, I'm not stressed out fucking enough. I gotta put up with this shit, right? So, anyway. um, <clears throat> Thank you for understanding. If you can support the streams in any way, please do. It'll help a ton. This, this week in particular, tips would really help to pay these bills in a week's time. But please understand when these events are coming up, I'm probably not going to be able to go crazy and break the bank doing the, You know what I'm saying? Um, I just got to gotta scale back, as they say. Scale back and, and do what's feasible. All right? Okay. Uh, I really hate trolls, man. It's so annoying. I'm trying to have some fun on the fucking stream. We got dickheads.